Part of the current debate is a little distorted based on the way both science is conducted and the way it's disseminated to the wider public. So within science generally, novelty is viewed as very important. And that's important when it comes to getting things published. Novelty is indeed important because it drives the field forward. But of course, beyond novelty, just having no result is also interesting. So what I mean by that is that if I run a study where I find no relationship between someone's mood and their smartphone use, that will be much more difficult to get published in a top tier journal than if I do a study where I find a weak relationship between say depression and the amount of time someone spends in front of a screen. Now that's then further compounded by the fact that if you want to sell newspapers, you might not sell as many if you just report on the front page, smartphone use doesn't relate to depression. But you will sell a lot of papers if you can show or suggest that there is something going on there. It's really worth keeping that in mind when you're reading both the literature and the popular press because it's always weighted towards a negative outcome.